live from SABC Studios in Auckland Park, Johannesburg. Welcome to this evening's episode of The Watchdog. My name is Vuyo Mvoko. Thank you for tuning in. On the show this evening... Those who are setting up the organization, say, say, Bo Dudula, Bo Mangmang, Riri, that is contravening the law. Operation Dudula Under Fire will speak to its leader, Ntlantla Lux, who is in studio. It's been hailed as one of the biggest, if not the biggest, milestones so far this year. Exceeding expectations by raising a whopping 14.4 billion rands for the fiscals. But will the much talked about spectrum really live up to the hype and deliver on such areas as education, health, policing and telecommunications, to name but a few? Our panelists discuss all of that coming up in tonight's episode of The Watchdog, which starts right now. As a country founded on tolerance, on respect, on diversity, on non-discrimination, we must never allow ourselves to turn against people who come from beyond our borders. That is why, Kerry, those who are setting up the organization, say, say, Bo Dudula, Bo Mangmang, Riri, that is contravening the law. Runa from government side, we will do our work. But we also want to say, let us work together. It's highly sensitive. Highly sensitive because this thing can soon turn out into xenophobia and uh, you know how the continent can turn its back on us. Well, Operation Tudula leader, Ntlanta Lax Zamini, is in studio. He's my guest this evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for your Good time. Good evening, and thank you for having me in studio. You're contravening the law, the president of the country says. Mm. We must correct that. Um, you're talking to the number one office in the world, in the, in the country, um, when you speak about presidency. So you're talking to someone who is well briefed. And um, we work with all spheres of government, we work with all spheres of law enforcement. The president knows the difference between Dudola and Bo Mang Mang, quoting him verbatim. He says Dudola and Bo Mang Mang. He knows Operation Dudola. He knows that he can't sit there, stand there in, in a formal platform and say that Dudula is breaking the law because that's not the truth. So people are trying to force us to believing the president is addressing us. He's not. I am in support of what Ndadesero Ramaphosa is saying there. If we allow splinter groups to pop up, and those who've started the movement, such as ourselves, who are leading the movement, such as ourselves and the fellows in, in Gauteng, Alexandra, Soweto, etc., we have a responsibility to make sure that the other communities that are sharing similar frustrations know how to move with the movement, know how to invite the necessary law enforcement when we are operating, know how to hold government accountable in different um, uh, spheres of government. And this is why you're seeing success from Operation Tutula. The president understands Operation Tutula and understands splinter cells that are emerging nationally now. But you have law enforcement agencies yeah. in, in this country. Yes. They do the policing. Yeah. They arrest people who break the law. Yeah. Uh, it's not your place. Yeah. So if it's not my place, that means already our conversation is undermining our constitution and our laws. Our laws do say that a citizen can arrest someone with their doing wrong. So how then do I confront the social ills uh, and the crimes in our communities if I can't? You get state law enforcement yeah. agencies to yes. do that. No, no, but that means, let's not run away from what the law and the constitution says. Citizens' arrest is there. I'm not daydreaming. Hmm? So why are we undermining citizens' arrest? That means you are saying that the people in Soweto must just keep quiet when the police are collecting bribes from drug dealers and mustn't make sure that the future of our kids is in our hands. We must just sit as couch potatoes and hope Superman will come out of the sky and help us. No one is coming to save us. That's why you are seeing the people rise. The dollar has a market simply because the government and the law enforcement was not doing its job. 
And we are not here to point those fingers. We are here to partner to ensure that the country moves forward. We're doing it together. And that's what you've seen us do in our operations. Because even if you YouTube now, you Google now, you go to anywhere, any platform, you will see that Tudula operations always have law enforcement in the background. So how can we be vigilantes? Because vig vigilantism, we must not mislead the nation. What when you are, when someone says you are a vigilante, that means you are taking, uh, you, you you are enforcing the law without legal authority. That's what a vigilante is. So if we have legal authority, meaning we have law enforcement present, and the arrests that we have always had in our operations are done by the police. I'm not even touching the citizens' arrests that we can do. So where is the vigilantism? But no, no. Simply because black people have organized themselves and managed to organize themselves in black communities greater than what government is organizing themselves, greater than what politicians are organizing themselves or how they are organizing themselves, better organized than even the law enforcement. Then it's a problem. These blacks can't be organized. We are organizing ourselves and working together in our communities outside politics because politics in its nature is very divisive. We divide in our communities. So we said that we're going to come together outside politics to take our communities forward. And this is what we are seeing happening today. But let's pick up on what uh, the president yeah. was saying um, earlier. That uh, if you can just, if you don't mind, just pulling a zip down, it's interfering with the with the microphone. No yeah, um, that's fine. That you should leave it to state law enforcement agencies. Yes, you should ask them, you know, to do the arrest. Yeah, you shouldn't get involved mm. because I mean, in the in the in the manner you have done in certain instances where um, situations have turned violent. Yeah. So you must avoid that at all yeah. costs. The only way to avoid that is not to do is not to directly uh, confront people. Yeah. So again, we mustn't mislead the nation. Let's not be selective in what our president said. Our president acknowledged that we do carry risks of of fueling the spirit of xenophobia. Exactly. I am a leader. I can't deny that. It's like if you have a problem with your wife because when you go to work, she sleeps with a guy from next door. You are scared of asking her if that's true or not, simply because you know after you ask her, your relationship will never be the same again, whether it's true or whether it's not true. Mm -hmm. So we are going to stand up for this country, and we know relationships will never be the same ever again. But we are willing to, 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 to thread in the line of honesty and putting South Africans first in South Africa. Ndate Sir Ramaphosa, what he said was, we must, right after he said that, let's not focus on the 30 seconds, mm -hmm. the rest of the speech is he then says we must work together as South Africans. Why are we denying that? He has seen that there is a need for us to work together because the program can come from the street corners or the program can come from government but it can only come from government if we are all in government because government is for the people by the people, not for the people by some people. So we are the people of this country. So government, we are going to go in whether the doors are open or not. And fortunately, it's open the doors for us to all work together to make sure that everything is done together. We move together as a country and we welcome that. But I mean, if you're acknowledging, if you're acknowledging um, uh, that, uh, you know, what you are doing, yeah has the effect yeah. of actually fueling sure. xenophobia. Yeah. You know, so it's not enough yeah. to then simply acknowledge that like that. It's yeah. what you then do yeah. to avoid sure. that. So are you going to sit here today, and I'm saying you personally, the rest of South Africa, are you going to sit here today and tell me that we have not done enough us as ordinary leadership of the people to avoid xenophobia? What because, have you done? No, no. If we haven't done enough to avoid xenophobia, we are on thin ice with every operation. We would have seen xenophobia, we would have seen people fighting each other right now. Operation Tutula doesn't have a history of, of, of uh, an arrest. And Operation Tutula doesn't have history of blood spilling. In the Western Cape, you've got Zimbabweans and Sotho nationals fighting each other. Blood spilled, people were hospitalized. But that's not xenophobic. And that's not vigilantism. But when South Africans rise and stand up for this country and fight for the future of their children, then we must be labeled. We can be called xenophobic as much as, as, as people want. We will only deal with the reality. And reality does dictate that we've been careful enough not to incite that violence, not to incite that xenophobia, because even now the media refuses to tell stories where we are actually collaborating with foreigners where we are working with foreigners, where we take bullets for foreigners. They just want, when we are rising and saying that we can't live like this, let's do better by our people because we must address this white elephant called illegal immigration in South Africa. Then, no, 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 this, this bunch is disturbing the, 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 the normal order. We can't stand this possible new world order where South Africans are empowered in South Africa. 
that time is coming and it will come in our lifetime with me dead or with me in prison like you are seeing now they're playing games to put us in prison because we are speaking for we are speaking the truth as it is as raw as it is for south africans with without being in, uh, uh, apologetic by any means so with or without lux this revolution will continue and the people of south africa will rise who's putting you in prison or wants to put you in uh, prison you know very well it's trending all over eff is a company that drug dealer to, to, to go open a case against me after the Gok was in the community, the entire community said that we can't get this person arrested, he's selling Nyope to our kids. The police are here visiting him, collecting the 20 rand on a daily basis. He's got an active case as we speak. So says the community, yeah, yeah, you're not drug dealing, he's out on bail. So we can't. So can you come and help us and confront these challenges in our communities? We do that simply because that that particular individual. Is, is the chairperson or the secretary of the EFF branch, then the EFF uh, finds it fit to send people to, to come and make sure that he, the drug dealer, opens a case against us, the community, me in particular. No problem. Okay, let's see yeah. uh, how our my, my colleague who was there today um, saw it. Take, let's take a listen to, to, let's watch this story. We are outside of the Dobsonville police station here in Soweto, where from this morning, members of both the EFF as well as Operation Dudula have gathered outside here, uh, both a demonstration and either side of the road. Uh, what we know is that the EFF came this morning um, to support a member of the community who claims that he was intimidated and assaulted uh, by the operation on Sunday when they uh, allegedly pitched up at his home, uh, which was suspected of being a drug den and um, went through. Uh, his home. He claims that this was a break-in and he was assaulted. They stripped his cupboards, they stripped his burglars, and when he entered that house, they started pushing him around, demanding drugs from him. And this is why Nkanja Lux is a coward, because he's not confronting gangsters who are selling drugs in Mitchell's Plain. He's not confronting gangsters in the CBDs of Johannesburg. He's not going to the harbors of this country, where drugs are imported from. He's going to innocent people, to old women, old men, because he is a coward. But the group's adamant they were only the messenger and police carried out the operation. Our operation, our modus operandi is very simple. We identify hot spots and then with the information we have, we go to the precinct commander, which is the station commander of the police station. And then we give them information to follow us and operationalize the information we give them. So if ever they want to lay charges against one of our leaders, they should have laid all charges against all of us, even subs. However, police claim their only role was to protect those demonstrating. The operation the dealer will apply for a march, maybe a protest march or maybe whatever. Then by law, anybody is allowed to, to march. The police then should uh, be with them just to protect them against any uh, confrontation along the way. They are not part of anything illegal. Anything illegal, a docket is open like today, uh, an arrest will be made. And today, a warning from the EFF. He's a toy soldier and the EFF has come here to accompany this leader to open a case against him and we want him to be arrested because the police, if they don't make an intervention mm. on what Operation Tutula is happening here in Johannesburg, it's already started spreading to Alex, mm. it has already started spreading to the Western Cape. We are going to encourage our people to defend themselves. They've now given police seven days to arrest the group's leader. But Operation Tutula says it's not taking this lying down. If they do, keep doing this, we will also lay counter charges. We are seeing the crowds both disperse on both sides as uh, this um, operation comes to an end for today. That's it for me, Hasina Gori, here in Dobsonville, Soweto. Now, the EFF says that you're going for this guy. This old man was done nothing wrong uh, and the community tells them that um, they don't know what you're talking about when you say this guy is, is a drug dealer they don't have that experience with him mm. he's a loving lovable mm. guy mm. you went for the wrong person mm. and you didn't uh, uh, acknowledge mm. the fact that you acted mm. on wrong information sure and that is usually the problem mm. when groups you know of people go at 
tech you know, people, because one, it takes one person to say something, even if it is not true, and then the rest of the group will attack that person, only to realize later yeah. that you are attacking the yeah. wrong person. I agree with you. When people attack people, which is not what we do, we don't attack, we operate. There's a difference. We need to use words better now, so that people can actually start consuming the truth and not perceptions or narratives. We do not attack anyone. We have not attacked anyone. Mm -hmm. Now, when the EFF tells, tells the media, and the media reports it as if it's a gospel truth, that even the community says that he, this person is such an angel, is that why I am currently right now, even on this show, sitting with, with a petition from the entire street and the street next door and the street on the other side mm -hmm. that says this house has been selling drugs and we, it's a problem house in our communities, and we want it to be handled. Uh, with, with proper uh, uh, care so that we make sure that Mapolisa are not going to be bribed to, de to get this man out. So what did you do? I, I said it earlier. We operated. We went there with the law enforcement. Or, with it, or do, are they just now our fans? I can prove, I can show you videos. By the way, we've got a video. It will come out and we'll see where the EFF, uh, uh, what the EFF does after it sees a video where we are very reasonable with a potential drug dealer. I was speaking to him. And in that video, it's clear. Kiam lela kirentatewe. Hello, re ole mukhono ole mukano. Wona le raito re opepe ba nadi tragzo bula es chaba. Uti bohore la haula talzati. I can explain what that means the whole day. The and whole what year. did he say? And then he said, "I promise you, you're not the first people to come here that says I sell drugs, and I don't know why the community thinks I sell drugs. It's on video. That video will come out." And but he's denying it. I mean, on your account. No, no, he is denying it. And that's why he was not arrested. Because we we're not there to think that whatever the people are saying in the community is gospel truth as well. We just have to make sure that we do confront the, the, the social ills, the, the, the crimes in our communities. We can't just let them go and hope people who don't do their jobs will do their jobs. They don't do their jobs. It's there. And we have the constitutional right to confront that problem and arrest people if they are selling drugs. I don't even need the cops there. But I even go the extra mile of making sure all our operations have the police there. Why were the police there? Because it's, it's evident they are there. They do tell you. We moved uh, from the park where we had a briefing to, and everyone knew what, what uh, address we are going to. The police came with us. Unless now we've got new fans called South African Police Service. They just enjoyed listening to us march and sing. Is that it? Or why were they there? They, they are mandated to be there. They get, they, they get authorized to be there. They know why they are called out public order policing. Public order policing was there. I've got videos, they've got videos, they've got the police cam. So where, where can we go break into someone's house inviting the police? Mm. Right, come on, guys. Let, let's not even intellectualize this. You can already see that the politicians that are always talking without real action to help our people on the ground are continuing to talk. While, you see what's happening now, politicians are judging our actions. Politicians are, are making sure that we get arrested because we're responding to the calls of Bob Goko in the township that don't have any other avenue because the police are failing them too. The politicians are failing them too. Now when we rise, no, no, these ones are dangerous. They mustn't rise on our court because our downfall is, is them rising. It's simple. Do not play the man. EFF is playing the man. It's not playing the problem. The problem continues. Drugs are continuing to be sold in the townships. Whether you are, you, you are scared of lax or lax is shaking, your, your normal way of doing things, and you're not the, the, the fancy voice anymore, there's young people who are emerging. Julius Malema is starting to become the old people that he used to hate. He's starting to become that old person. But and by the way, as young people, we admire Julius. Julius must know that. We looked up to Julius, continue to look up to Julius. He's failing us. We're losing our, our, our faith in Julius simply because of he is now emotional and he's starting to look like everyone else that's old just sleeping in parliament. It's a matter of weeks before he starts sleeping in this parliament. But why the, I mean, what's in it for the politicians you're saying are what? going after you once yeah. you're arrested? What's in it for them? I mean, what to relevance. To relevance. That's what's in it for them. They are not popular anymore. That's why they ride on popular waves. We are the voice of today, not me in particular. Our, the movement is. There is no week where we're not trending on Twitter, even though we're not doing it for Twitter. So they have a problem. They, they, just, popular, they just, uh, just want to popularize themselves with anything and everything. They can't come up with programs. When last, if I ask you as a well-informed and well-groomed gentleman, which EFF or political party program do you know that has ever emancipated our people in this day and time in the communities? What action has the EFF taken against GBV in our communities? Against drugs in our communities? We are the ones young people taking bullets every day. And the same young people are getting arrested on a daily basis by these politicians. How dare they? They are disgusting.
But I mean, the EFF is saying, why aren't you, for example, fighting for land? Because land, by giving people land, yeah. uh, you are going to empower them. Listen, we can't fight things that are outside our abilities and due restriction. We are not politicians. They signed up for this. People voted for them to deliver. Their manifesto had the land issue on it. They had an opportunity to even vote with some political parties to change the status quo. They refused because they are politicking. They're not really here for, for our people in the land. What makes you say that? Because it's clear it's what happened. I'm not saying what should happen. Or I'm not talking about the future. We are not in politics. But I asked a simple question. Where are their programs to come and help us on the ground when we're getting shot? Where are their programs when people are getting raped every day? Our people are getting introduced to drugs every day on a daily basis in our, in our townships. The police are doing very little about it. Okay? The politicians are doing fuck all about it. All they can do is with the stadium and speak at rallies. We're the new black people in South Africa now. We are vibrating on a certain on a certain level of consciousness. We are not going to be pulled by words. Action, Papa. Action speaks louder than words. Is this, don't care what they say. They can is, continue talking. Is, is what we are doing a precursor to you forming a political no, movement? No, it's not. I, uh, listen, me, I'm, I'm actually, as personally, I'm a scholar of, of ancient African history. I will tell you how much I hate politics as a system. That's why I'm not even participating in politics. You will but, never. That, but that doesn't discourage other young people. I will support young people in politics because we can't all live the same life. Imagine if you all wanted to be soccer players. Then you wouldn't have this job. I wouldn't be sitting here fighting for the communities. So we must all do what we think is right for our lives as long as we know that it will contribute towards the, the development of our people in our country. So we will encourage young people to make sure that they, they, they take over the powers in politics, take over our powers in business, private sector, and public sector so that the country vibrates with the spirit of young people so that we can actually make a difference because we can't continue to to be led by people who are taking decisions today but they will die in any time from now because they are too old therefore we can't hold them accountable for the decision they're taking now in the future your kids my kids your grandkids they will ask you daddy what did you do don't tell me about a minister or don't tell me about a politician what were you doing no no my child i was waiting for the minister to do something history will judge you so you know you have no interest uh, in going to politics. I have no interest in going to politics as a politician because we know that politics has managed like a plague, like a virus. It has managed to intertwine itself around our genetic and our just the natural makeup in our societies. So you, you can't escape politics. Even now when we're speaking, we're actually speaking more towards a political market than a social market that wants to go jive, go conga or PDL. So we must understand that we can't run away from politics. But I stand here on a public platform and tell you that I don't have any interest in being a politician. I will continue to leap on from the ground because as you can see, as the country can see that leading from the ground, being in touch with your people and not wearing your suit and tie and being on the ground with them. When they have load shedding, you have load shedding and you're fighting it together. And when there's drugs, there's drug dealing, you're fighting it together with your people. It's got more impact and that's why I'm sitting here and no one else is. And who is supporting your, your, your efforts? Is there anyone supporting it financially? No, we don't even have a... Look, Soweto Parliament doesn't even have a bank account. Mm -hmm. When we have programs to dollar, uh, operation to dollar programs, uh, even the other uh, Tutula formations from Alexandra, uh, Tutula movement, Alexandra parliament, Emalasheni parliament, all our civic movements, we rakazad. We go to Megawatt Park, we say, guys, we are, we, this community doesn't have electricity for the last year. Disgusting. Where's human rights? I don't know. But in any case, we are going to where the problem is because we are tired of doing, breaking down robots, traffic lights, and, and blocking infrastructure and banning things. No, no, that's our community. We must protect it. The problem is with ESCOM, we are going to Megawatt Park. Mm -hmm. Guys, the buses are 2,000 rand. And who, how many people are coming? So that divided by 2,000 always works out to about 100 rand odd. And people take out that money. From, from me to move from Pinville or from Middlelands to where the problem is in Deep Loof, in a text is 20 rand. So really are we asking who's funding me 20 rand to go to where the problem is so that I can confront the problem and go back home on another taxi, hit 20 rand. Not that I'm saying I'm using taxis. I'm trying to rationalize with you to say that who funds 40 rand? Mm -hmm. We must ask who funds the politicians. They, they are working for the people. They are drowning in corruption. They can't handle realities of the country. Ask them where they get the money. But no, no, the question must be asked ordinary South Africans who are active citizens, actually super active citizens fighting for the future of this country. Our efforts, even the EFF is a beneficiary of our leadership. We, we are not member-based. We don't work for some people, we work for everyone. 
What that means is that when an EFF member passes away in our communities, it doesn't, you forget your colors. You forget what political party you come from. You peel. Because that's, that's the culture of black people. The unity is there. We just have to now put glue on our unity and make sure that we let nothing divide us, even the politicians or the politics. Let's see what people think um, of you. are going to bring some uh, tweets. Um, Vuma says, your brothers and sisters are like distant cousins to some of us. Sadly, your brothers and sisters are <coughs> sabotaging our brothers and sisters. So go fight for your own and we'll fight for our own. Uh, let's let's bring up see, see if we can get another one. Ndugulua uh, Jack Tlumiane Matunzi says, after evictions of illegal immigrants in your areas, what steps are you taking to ensure they don't end up in other provinces or other areas in Gauteng? How do you ensure that these people end up in their own countries, not on the streets of South Africa? Do you want to answer that? Yes. Already, the tweets are asking us, how, what are we going to do with people that end up in other provinces? That is a question that must be directed to the government and the politicians that their job is to do this, the law enforcement. We are taking care of our communities with limited resources. So we do it so well that people, the way they have lost hope in everyone else and all these politicians, they are now asking us what we must do with other provinces. But it's okay, I can help answer that question. Sir Ramaphosa has opened the door of us working together so if we start programs inside government, by government, for the people, by the people, we'll start having programs that make sense because we are the blueprint of, of, of a, a movement that works. So government is clearly failing and he, without, with short, for of a few words, he, he was just short of saying that. And, but because he's the president, he needs to maintain a level of decorum, isn't it? So we will help you hear what he couldn't tell you. That this Ramaphosa arma South Africa not just the government so that Rukho not in a country around and put South Africans first in South Africa. That's what the man is saying. But he can't put it the way I'm saying it. Why? Because he is binded by SADC agreements and United Nations agreements and AU agreements. The people of this country, the current people of this country, want to make their own decisions about the South Africa they want to live in and move forward and moving forward where the kids should be living in. That's the proposal of we need a new Cordesa. We need to talk about the land issue. At some point when we can graduate in terms of resources, time and space, we can handle that agenda. But time and space is important. You can't just speak about things that we, can't, we don't even have the resources to deal with. If but but I mean, you seem to be reading into what Cyril Ramaphosa said, something he actually didn't say. No, no. Because he says, don't. He says, yeah. don't do this. No, no. He says, boto dola, libo mangma. Now, if you want us to be technical, let's speak words. Because me, I speak very, I'm, I'm very, I'm a linguist, by the way. You can speak any language you want. So, bo mangma and kibo Why are you holding me accountable for bo mangma? If the president said, bo to dola, bo to dola, libo mangma, I'm quoting him verbatim. Mm -hmm. Why do you want the narrative to be about no. operation to dola? I'm not fighting you, by the way. I am stressing it so that even people at home who thought the president was bashing operation to dola can't be. Because we are already working with some ministers to make sure that we, do, we work together to Which take ministers? the country forward. Some ministers. They'll, they'll tell you when the time is right. But who are they? No, no, they'll tell you when the time is right. Uh, what are they saying to you? They're saying that they appreciate what we're doing, but we must work together so there's no loose end and take the country forward. Which minister said that to they'll you? They'll tell you when the time is right. Why? Why, why can't you talk because, about it? Because, because we, I mean, if, if, if you're yeah. open, yeah. It, you speak sure. your mind, yeah. and you're convinced that yeah. you're doing the right thing. Because, because so. unfortunately, this has nothing to do with you personally or the watchdog. I love the watchdog, by the way. I watch it why why. But there are some people watching you now mm -hmm. who are making notes because now this, the, the, the current status quo is not the same. They're making notes so that they can go and, and, and stop projects before they happen. We live in this country. We see projects getting stopped every day. Do you think people want us to be around? Do you think that these politicians would rather have you and me being interviewed than them? The answer is no. They're doing everything with their might. They're flooding social media with, with, with fake news and lies about us. And they continue to do that. They should take that money and invest it in the communities. Who has done that? Uh, all of them have done that. Ooh. I said all of them, so I don't need to mention one. All. They're all doing it. Let's, 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 also, let's continue to hear from um, people who are watching. <clears throat> 
PK says, um, why isn't Lantla and Dudula not going to get back the land which was taken from us? Mm. Why are they not going to fight the farm workers? Mm. Um, why are they targeting our black brothers and sisters? Why are they not going to fight the criminals at cash in transit heists? Mm. Ashem, you know, another tweet that shows you how people are now saying that these people is a possible solution to cash in transit, possible solution to whatever's happening in the farms with the lands. Let me tell you why. I already said it. We are working with Within our resources in terms of time space and financial ability to do some things so when you start giving us agendas that are above our resources and reach we are now going to start lying to people if the meeting is in Cape Town how are we going to take our people in Cape Town if you don't even have a, a bank account mm. we work as a unit so but I can answer how how is when Bobo Julia C and all these guys have stopped working for themselves and their selfish interest and really want to work for the people, will partner with the people and will take on the land issue. I promise you that fight will be a very quick fight if we are working together as black people. But no, no, who's attacking us now? Do you see any white person attacking us for fighting drugs in our communities? You see prominent political figures sending their, 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 their people to come and fight with us and fight and protect drug dealers in our communities. So think about it. So once we can unite, we can go to any other agenda you want us, we will raise our hands, we'll be there with everyone else. Have you ever sat down with any leader of any political party? Just to share, yeah. I mean, your views, your world view, yeah. how you see yeah. this sure. thing that we've started. I've, said, I've sat uh, down with, with ground leaders because I respect them more than the suit and tie leaders. They, they don't know what's going on, suit and tie leaders. Ground leaders know what's going on. That's why the, e the EFF is divided in Soweto now. But how can, how can Julius uh, command that we must protect a drug dealer and, and, and defy our communities, Libong Khon Baron? We live in these communities. We know this person sells drugs. So how do we then politic about something that's serious in this community? I'll take a listen to what Julius had to say sure. um, only the other day. Where is Operation Tutula when criminals have taken the streets, cash in transit, the rapists? Where are they? They are targeting a person who sells on the streets. What is economic power about that? Fight for the real economic power. Uska Lolan Totengyani, that is easy target. Be like us in the EFF. Confront the white men and confront the white men directly and do not be scared. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, Julius is a commander. I'm telling you. We're not selfish with leadership. Julius is a commander. That's why he can command people to go left, go right, up, down. He's a commander. But what he does with his command is what we must judge him on. You can talk about land all you want. What's your program on the land? Don't tell us what's your desired program for parliament with people sleeping in there. I'm telling you, what's the real program on the land? Are we engaging the people who've got the land now? Are we, are we, are we, are we? But I'm not here to judge him. I'm saying that there is a possibilities of all young people, young leaders, and actually everyone in this country, black people in particular, to work together so they can advance genders, uh, agendas that are for them. But he was part of them. those hearings that parliament conducted no no again you're telling me about parliament i'm saying programs on the ground yes but those are elected public representatives no no the, the, then then you see you are taking you are taking me to where you want to go i am telling you now politicians have those 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 uh, programs there i am saying on the ground which person they were on the ground okay which person in soweto right now make a poll now so what tens of people in in townships when have you ever been engaged about the land issue at what level so you see their programs are for them. They're not for the people of this country. But they were there with the people. You're not people understanding me. Came to, so Goko Oblan, came to the Goko hearings. They spoke, they spoke their minds. They spoke their minds. Goko Oblan Kotem Biso Fitile Zwang hearing you. No, they went there. They went to the communities. They didn't invite uh, people to town. This, this they is the actually problem. went to the communities. This is the problem. Do you know how many communities we have in South Africa? Let's start there. Do you think that they reached out to all communities in South no, Africa? No, of course about not. That? Yes, that's what I'm telling yeah. you. So don't tell me about their programs that are specialized for some people. I am saying we all live by a slogan called by, for the people, by the people. It's a government slogan, a democratic slogan. That is the backbone of this, this democracy. Why are we excluding some people in, some, in, in such an important conversation? How, how would you have done it? No, no, look. The for problem example. is that we are hogging power. It's central. It comes from the top down. Power must come from the bottom up. 
power. If you want to know what holds the tree, the earth holds the tree. What does, so, that, mean, what does that mean? So the ground, the ground must have the power to take on policies and, and send them up. Okay, I'm saying, yeah. if, if you were to say, seek the opinions yeah. of South Africans sure. on the land issue, yeah. how differently would you have done it? Sure. I'll show you how different we'll do it when we unite with Julius, ANC, and IFP, and all the black organizations uniting on agendas. We, I'm not prepared to give them ways of doing things and then, for, uh, and then now uh, all of a sudden after decades you see them doing programs and you know they're already robbing young people who go there with, with a business idea, say I've got a business, you see your business flying around there because they know you don't have the resources to challenge them. Now I must tell you how they, they, they can be more successful and they claim victory over us, the ordinary people. No, no, there's a reason why we are successful to continue with those programs. But you will know when the time and space is right because at some point in this lifetime, we are going to partner with every black person who is willing and able and will get the land back. That's not a problem. But for now, stop asking about lands and, and issues that are outside and far away from us, asking us why we're not fighting the farmers. Do, do you see a farm in Soweto? Do you see a farm in Tembisa, in Kuguletu? We're fighting immediate problems that are challenging our people on a daily basis. As we speak in Soweto, we have people that don't know what they are eating. And they are um, Laksi, Oluansana, Lima Burukwa. Do you think that if they even have data to, to watch the repeat of the show on YouTube, they even don't have those things? So don't, let's not think that the population, South Africa is a virtual country. Mm -hmm. What you see on Instagram and these Facebooks is actually a piece of the puzzle. The real people are on the ground in homes where they, they are faced with real issues, where people like me and other people young people and old people are helping to solve their issues not this virtual nonsense okay, let me see if i can get one or squeeze in one or two more um um tweets okay we can't um uh, um, um right now so what 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 do you do what do you do when you're not there yeah. with uh, your uh, uh, movement marching or I'm confronting. there every day with my movement at night. I sleep at 3 a.m. and I wake up at 6. You can send one of your people and do a case study. They must come and share with us. Mm -hmm. they'll, then they'll know because Aribu we are there at 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. we are going around patrolling our communities because the vans are not enough in police stations. Because when one van, this is how the 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 the, 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 the totties work now. They call the van. Here is a problem. Van is east, but west. So we have to work with our police. It's exactly what we've been doing. That's why you saw during the, 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 the protest, the, the, the looting, yeah, July, the July unrest, who, 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 who was able to manage their way and, and be successful around that problem more than anyone else beyond reasonable doubt? The young people and the ordinary people. The law enforcement was found wanting. Politicians were in their living rooms watching from TV while our people are dying at every mall. So we are the ones again being asked, Hey, what do you do for him? You must ask those monsters there that are chowing our people's money and doing nothing about it and, and, and taking young people to prison while they should be complimenting these young people. Ask them what, the, what they do for a real living. Because clearly that if you do a real audit in, in that space of law enforcement and government, oh, oh, so you, sure. don't, you don't have any day job? What I don't have a day now job. Is what is all no, you do. I don't have a day job. And you don't have a day job. In the way in Naxibitan Chavaka things, it's uncivilized. Langa, Shaw's natural dempatang, Chavas Lampatana, Matupula Mangata, Moli. We are the Torano so put South African first. We forget everything I said, South Africans, but Lampata because Kilo and Kilanella are South African on a daily basis. Okay. Ask him why he. he doesn't he check the document of white people to see whether are they not foreigners? Where are the white people in Tembisa and Soweto? Guys, why do you want us to jump your problems? It's like these people who, who, who like uh, uh, talking and saying, you know, I'm a life coach, but you go to their house, they must coach themselves and their families first. Things are upside down. We are working within the realms of our resources. If Coco calls Lux, a Karunali Motoke in Kacharata, and a Holy Pip, you cause kilo shedding. Kitabo Shapam Tanga, Nakatiba or Mona Linjaki, Shapaso, Jikanaso, Kitaberluko, Coco Lee Seven, Coco with Alam, or Lux Kiluna, a Nona Limo to Monte. Do you think Coco has any other luxury of choice like that? Can so never. So what, be. what then are you 
focusing on? What's yeah. your We're focusing on our scope. people. Guys, yeah. I know that it's hard to understand this. We are focusing on our people. We are focusing on putting South Africans first in South Africa. It's hard to even digest because that hasn't been a norm for a very long time. We are actually that simple. We are not intelligent by any means. All we do is listen to the cries of our people. Because toilet paper I'm not telling you my opinions here. Mm. I am not smart by any means. I am just connected with my people and that's why I can articulate their problems and that's why I can be part of their solutions. Okay, let's take another one. Um. Operation Tudula is doing well by reporting to the police before they go to the street and they work well with the police. They don't harm anybody. They don't ask for Jojo. Uh, EFF thought they will win foreigners by getting Smolanyan or something from, from, from them. Mm. You agree with that? Say that? Look, I don't agree with things I don't know. I don't know what the operations of the EFF are programs because for us, as far as we're concerned, they, are, they don't have programs because we'd see the programs in the townships. And the day they do have programs, we are willing to assist because we've got the blueprint of the township. If you have a progressive program that's going to benefit our people, we won't know how the leadership space. We'll step aside and say, make sure that this program benefits Bokoko or the young people or, or fight against drugs, etc., etc. We'll even help when it be. Do you understand? Because we know what it's like, people are worried that we'll be killed by these politicians. They will not kill us. So meaning the day the Not the day who about a politician. But no problem. Chris Honey pavement, but the struggle continued. We are here. We continue their struggles. Have you, so, have, you, have you dealt in politics before? I've never. What? What does that question mean? Have well, I, whether you, you belong to a political party yeah. or been part of any yeah. political structure. So here's, here's what's important for the whole country to know. When you grow up in the township, as soon as you have a voice and you have confidence to attack or, or even just engage on, on social issues, there's only one avenue to express your leadership. That's politics. Mm -hmm. And that's why we set up a structure such as Soweto Parliament, because they are non-political. There's a young girl who just works at a call center who lives in Midland Zone 3, who doesn't want to be in the political space, but wants to contribute towards the development of their township. They don't have a platform. And we created that platform. And that's why you're seeing our numbers grow rapidly, because the reality does tell you that we've got more people outside politics than we do have in politics. Correct? Yes. So we are leaders of the free world. In a nutshell. So, so what happens next? Yeah. Where are you taking this movement and what are you going to focus on? We will continue to work within the boundaries and realms of our own resources and abilities. We will not take on agendas because all of a sudden people think that we are good at what what. No, no. We give you what comes from inside out. We don't take from outside in. Otherwise, that little depression, you want to read talk of Allah because we took on things we don't even know. But once the land issue comes within the realms of our resources because we are big enough to even give it a bear hug and suffocate it, you must understand that time and place is coming. And I told you the, the conditions of that time and place coming. They're going to come under the unity of black people. That's why even when they're taking us to prisons, we're still leaving room in our hearts to say a day will come when we unite with them. Because what's important is that our people must be beneficiaries of our existence, not ourselves. So, so what are you going to focus on? What is yeah. within yeah. your, your yeah. resources now that yeah. you're going to confine yeah. yourself to? Sure. We continue to deal with the uh, illegal uh, immigrants. We continue to deal with drug abuse and drug dealing in our community. We begin to all social ills of our communities, all economic ills. The companies that are trading within our communities, it's high time they start participating in the development of our communities. You're going to see that conversation happening very fast. But Uber driver in our communities, they can't all be illegal immigrants or just foreigners, regardless of their status. Our boys and girls can't be subjected to street corners in townships because we are scared of speaking simply because you might be labeled xenophobic, labeled as xenophobic. We'll get those, that black child of the street corners and we put them in economic positions because they have nowhere else to, 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 to get such, such uh, economic opportunities. If they go to war Nigeria, actually leave the continent alone. Let me tell you as a matter of fact, as you know every time Bo Operation to Dola, Bo Alexandra to Dola movement, Bo put South Africa first, Bo Soweto Parliament, Bo Alexandra Parliament, when you speak of illegal immigrants, we never ever reference Africans. Only those who are Facebook and Twitter warriors. Who Africans, who Africans. Let me tell you, you, I'm not pointing at you. You in the media and at home, you are teaching 
Africans as a surname to us when we say illegal immigrants, Africans, illegal Im Africans. Find a video of me saying illegal immigrants are Africans. I'll, I'll, I'll resign for 10 years. Maybe you guys will be happy. I'll resign and be mute for 10 years. You can find a video of me always articulating the fact that Im uh, illegal immigrants are not limited to Africans. So stop this narrative. You will find more than 20 videos of me saying that. Easy me says, Ntlantla like, is so clear and I fully agree with everything he says. <coughs> Townships are under attack and government and politicians are doing nothing about it. And when the people gather to fight the problem, we are seen as problem. Yeah. Sure, you agree. No, it's a problem. It's a problem if you are in business and and you are the richest guy around. And kids come here and start making money with coding, something you can't even begin to fathom. And you're like, and now Russia, but they've got 10 times the influence. But don't know, so keep problem for So it's a problem. You understand. Okay, I've got a question, says Magical Moments. Why do we have to urge the government to push back foreigners when the government is still supporting corrupt, corrupt foreign governments? Do you have any thoughts? Yeah, look, something about me. You will never catch me with my pants down. Why? I don't talk about things I don't know. I'm not intelligent by any means. This tweet is saying governments making deal with corrupt governments. I've never researched these governments, they're corrupt or not. I am busy focusing on the problems of our people. And that's why we are solving the problems of our people. I don't care what's happening in, in Kokai Kai 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 because we can't solve the problems here in our immediate communities. Onwards, upwards, Lux, our generation is not captured by the notion that we are represented by the ANC and the EFF. Leaders lead in the community uh, where they live, says Mtobi CM Lamin. You've been saying that. I've been saying this uh, all day, uh, all night, uh, all year. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, 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 throughout. Yeah. Are there people or organizations, structures that you would want to uh, work with that you think are close to you in terms of their outlook, worldview? No. I just want to work with my people. I want to work with South Africans so that we can take the country forward and everything else will follow. I don't have interest in, in big fancy NGOs and, and non-profit organizations from United Nations. Look, I'm not even against United Nations because I am worried about the well-being development of my immediate community. So must, be, so must every South African, black, white, Indian, colored. The, the colored communities are forgotten communities. You give them a food puzzle, geez, they jump. That's when you realize there's a problem. So we need to truly emancipate our people and stop giving them food parcels. We need to unite as the people of this country and, and not allow these people to divide us. The white people that are hiding behind their mother's doors. I get it, Luna, the politicians of, of yesterday. You said that this country belongs to, uh, to white people, to Ing Ing 94, Lenze Di Til I get So we are now living amongst a, an environment where we are saying, yes, the South Africans that are our forefathers, Bo Mandela, Balbarata, I get it, I get it, I get So I get it, I get South African I So it, I get it, I get it, South African. I must have a new Cortesa and say that my South African Amahua, Le Inheritile, Le Patilo to the Reza Juan, Repeta Kalend ish, and then my Indian, Lo Nalipila one, two, three, Reza Juan, Repilisa Ning, Repelo Bali such a big divide. Colored communities, how do we work together? That's the conversations you're going to see with this new type of leadership. Because that's what it is. Why must we hate the colored people? Why must we hate the Indian fellas? Why must we hate the white fellas? Why must we hate the Africans fellas? You guys made us inherit what's happening now. So don't judge us based on the fact that we've got white friends who went to the white schools. What did you fight for? For us to continue not to go to the white schools. You fought for equality, now we are equal. You go to the same schools, we've got white friends, is the problem. As a matter, as, 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 who said that that's a problem? No, no, that, that, if you are in touch with reality on Facebook, on Twitter, they'll put a white person next to Lux. Oh, Lux is captured. That's an old story, stay. Try new stories. What's important is the action that we are taking. We will continue to have Indian friends, we'll continue to have Indian uh, uh, colored friends, we'll continue to have white friends, African friends, we don't care. This is the new South Africa we live in, but we're going to make sure that South Africa works for South Africans. But black people, our group is a big group that can determine a direction we want if we unite. So when I say black people address black people, I am not being, I'm not saying it's, it's South African definition is limited to black people. 
because that's what one people want us to start narrating that's why you see even politicians sitting down when you start singing the the, the africans national anthem hande re tswakae re tswakae mo south africa le re bleletse hore le lwanne le maburu hande ke 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 makantwa ya lona is your fight lying is history was history lying to us so we are south african we must work together and make sure this country moves forward but no south african must be above another but what does work together mean it means that my problem must be your problem it means that your profit must be my profit it means that your business must be my business so that when you go home i can take care of it not because i'm only consuming from it but i know that your profit comes back somehow and sponsors education in the community we are working together it means that you can't have the land a majority of the land owned by minority of the people it means that we must share the land and the resources of this land and the banks the policies of the banks must be equal for all south africans we are now working together but that conversation can never happen if the dialogue is not with all south africans it can't happen in silos but how are you going to how are you going to do the dialogue when when you say you will see when we do it i'm not going to tell you how we're going to do things on this show we are going to do it and we're going to do it that, that Julius that everyone's listening to we are going to do it with Bol Bola Mola in the ANC all the young people are going to unite we're going to do it in the IFP in patriotic look all political parties mona le takinyana re tlo ba le conference about takiri kopane ha ba tla siya ke training tsa mai ha o tla so wetse re boblela le lascaro ke ye the our the, the young people that are coming after us a, pol, a, a PlayStation generation habli generation they're not going to do anything we are the last card last card means that if this train doesn't work we are doomed uh, we are the last train then uh, they can kill us shoot us take us to prison but this island revolution will continue last uh, card uh, it is it's a coach for coach you're saying but like you must come together yeah with this young leader but yeah only a minute ago you were saying that uh, why should you be blamed or why should you be uh, okay i'm going to say know, for, 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 for setting for, yeah. for 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 fraternizing with uh, white people i'm going to say it very slow i am saying all south africans must play a part in advancing south africa and that's why we must always put south africans first in south africa yeah black people are the largest number in this country yeah but we are the weakest number because we are not united while everyone else who is a minority is uniting black people are the most poor people in this country so to change the narrative it is important that you start with the empowerment with the serious emancipation of black people and the only way to do it in our lifetime is for the unity to come together so we do it together so that when we sit down around the table with every other race that qualifies as south african according to what you and your class left us as, as a legacy definition for what is a south african when we get around the table we need the black people to be united otherwise the decisions that will come out will not favor that the, the black child in 200 years we need to protect the black child now in 200 years that's what everyone else is doing but every other politician and leader protects their family first and their and, and their thing for maybe 10 years time 200 papa we are the new type of black person watch in 200 years when our policies still work for our people in 200 years thank you very much uh, for your time commander money and uh, that's our show uh, for tonight we are to stretch it a little bit because um, um, of uh, I mean the interview uh, that uh, story um, about uh, of course um, the um, um, the spectrum uh, we will bring you that story tomorrow apologies uh, for not uh, being able to do that uh, this uh, evening but do join us again uh, tomorrow when the watchdog is on air at from 8 p.m. sharp uh, perhaps I should tell you also that we did try to uh, get the EFF to form part of this uh, conversation uh, albeit uh, I must say it was uh, a little late so they couldn't join us um, this evening but we'll endeavor to uh, uh, get them on the show as well to uh, so that you can hear uh, from them what they think of some of the things that Ntantla had to say um, about them, but also um, what they were doing in Soweto today. And that's uh, our show for this evening. To join us again, uh, as I say, tomorrow. Have a good night.